Am I live? Hello, I'm hello, hello. So I'm going to be uh, cleaning and decluttering the art supplies over here. And um, I got a lot to work on. And then I also have a basket of laundry that needs to be put away. It's just the towels. So I'm going to do that real fast. On Sunday, it's sunny and brazen. Step 18 means Mars rules the day, making this a Grandmaster Day. This is a day where actions will speak louder than words. Be careful of reactions as well. It's so we're listening to Serious Joy. It's my day favorite astrology love, service. You'll love them. The moon will shift from Pisces and Aries on countdown for the eclipse. Looking ahead to the week. Forecast Check for them out. Five days and Christopher your Wateki. It looks like over the course of the week, you're going to have a major solar eclipse on Monday, and the rest of the week is pretty much recovery. On Monday, it's sunny and vigilant. Step 19 means Earth rules the day for this new moon solar eclipse called the Champion's Return. This total solar eclipse will cast a shadow across the United States. The theme of the eclipse is, I was made for this. And the sun will directly conjoin Chiron and the moon for this galactic event. This event will be a powerful healing and may force certain issues in your consciousness up to the surface. Due to the power of this eclipse, we advise you use caution with heavy machinery or do anything that may be considered risky behavior. On Tuesday, it's sunny and worthy. Step 20 means the moon rules the day. And this, of course, that, is after the new moon. Be so cautious. You're Mercury retrograde and the solar eclipse. Securities. You are processing eclipse aftermath and you are feeling out what the future will bring. The moon will shift from strong, fiery Aries in the Taurus. I need new washcloths. To towards the end of the I day. use, I use my washcloths the most. It's sunny and expanding. Step 21 means it's time to start some fun. Jupiter rules this day and so you'll now expand your options for the future and begin to articulate your plan. Plus, Mars can join Saturn, bringing a clear, crisp understanding of the attitude to take about your karma during the day. And the moon in Taurus will make you feel valuable and worthy. On Thursday, it's sunny and analytical. Step 22 means Uranus rules the day. This is a day for divine inspiration that will arrive. That's because we have a Mercury Kazemi, Mercury retrograde, passing through the center of the sun. Expect incredible inspiration from your higher self, and you're reconsidering just where you do belong in the future. It might be a change that the eclipse has happened, and the moon will shift from Taurus into Gemini, so things get rather pensive or chatty towards the end of the day. And then on Friday, it's sunny and shifting. Step 23 means Mercury retrograde rules the day. There's a triple dose of that Mercury energy with the moon in Gemini as well. On this day, you're finally getting clear about the future and incorporating all the aspects of the eclipse, and you're processing the many possibilities and probabilities of the future. I'm going to go to the thrift store tomorrow. Hopefully my money is deposited on my future card. I need to check that hey, tonight. See if it's YouTube, deposited yet. Stay kind and do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Serious Joy TV. If it isn't, I could just Hit use my cash app. Notified. And if you don't mind, please like our program and this video so the YouTube algorithm will suggest it to other people who are <laughs> astrology fanatics. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> this man. particular episode of Namaste Today Live is sponsored by Unite the Light. The Lightworker Summit happening on May 18th and 19th. Produced That'd be by so fun to go to. Com and also Devin Dewar. We are doing it at the Renaissance Austin in Austin, Texas. This is about inspiration, like-minded thinkers, bringing our networking together. It's two phenomenal days. One first day show and tell, a dinner enchanted gala and dinner that evening with entertainment and some fun surprises. And then Sunday, several panel discussions about Lightworker. We're almost done with the towels here. Together. This is for anybody who really feels that they want to be and improve the world. They want to be an influencer. They want to be a light worker. They want to make the world a better place. And this is your tribe. This is mostly about coming together under one roof for two days, starting to network, starting to collaborate. In fact, we have this new expression, collaboration is the new cash. That's what we believe. And we feel like in this upcoming year, the earth is going through so many challenges. We should hold hands and come together now 
before we have these challenges. So we're on the same team. We have right each other's now. phone numbers. Go to unitethelight.love. UniteTheLight.love. I think we have three more VIP tickets left, but if you can't get VIP, don't sweat it. You can buy a normal uh, ticket and you can buy the dinner as an addendum. Okay, you cool. You just won't have to see part of the VIP. Got this empty laundry basket. Rough. That's okay. I'll be walking around the whole premises. No. A good time. Ew, what's sticky on me? It. It's going to be a great time. Also, we do continue to just say, put out there that if you'd like to be a sponsor, the okay. Event, and email us Let's at support at seriousjoy.com. Get to organize. Great exposure among today's most leading light workers. Um, just email us if you'd like to be a part of that. Support at seriousjoy.com. All right, friends, we've got so much to talk about. Without further ado, let's move on to our weekly planets and transits. I guess I'll show you over here. But first, I want to show, I don't know, maybe I should turn you here right now because I'm going to be doing some stuff over here first. Okay. First well, of all, been a rocky road so far. I forgot to show you what I got on Amazon today. I kept forgetting about it. Um, let me show you. This can be my trash bag, too. I'm going to need a trash bag, I'm sure. Oh, what else is in here? Talking that. Is this my memory card? Yeah, I got my memory cards today. I haven't been filming because my memory cards have been full. So, we got two new memory cards. Over there. Okay. And those are the Amazon Basics, I think 64 gigabyte memory cards. I got two pair, and then I also got these paper container with lids, and I'm going to use these um, when I give out my stick bugs. I don't know where all I'm going to give out my stick bugs, but I'll find places for them to be hand out during festival season. Um, combining with all the emotions of the earth as one. I don't know if I can open this right now. But you see what it looks like. It's like a paper bowl. It's like a paper soup bowl with two holes on top. And I figured that would be perfect for handing out stick bugs with. So we got that. Now, it's likely the best way to look at this is as an energy. So, Chiron is the energy of the I have this box here, which is my Ostara box. I labeled it. It's also a healing energy. It's a commandment for alignment. And we're going to open this back up because uh, I want to wrap some of this stuff in here. Because some of it's delicate, particularly this is delicate. So I want to wrap that. From a spiritual perspective, integrity is basically loving yourself. I'm gonna put this away. I have enough um crystal balls out right now that I can use for divination. This one's gonna be put away in the Astara box. And so if you're carrying, in my opinion, a lot of heavy dead weight. Any sort of repressed anger, any sort of repressed sadness, any emotions that you haven't processed or really come to terms with, um, what this is going to do is force it up to the surface. Now, I can attest to this myself. I'm not a boy scout, um, but I, think I do have this. I'm going to leave this Astara box out for a little while, though, because Easter stuff is still in the thrift stores, and I might want to put some Easter stuff in here, because Ostara is basically the pagan version of Easter. because I don't want it to break. Okay. 
I'm going to use this one. I'm going to declutter my art supplies. And some of it's going to go in storage. Some of it's going to go be given away. Let's do this. I think I'm going to keep this out because I might use this for sewing. I have a whole bunch of these uh, mailers. There's a lady online that's been giving me mailers. And I need these for Poshmark. So. But I don't need all of them out here. Some of them can go in storage. I think this bag will go in storage. Go ahead and put that down there so I can take it out to storage. What do we got in here? A little box. Okay. I wanted these out because I might use these. Still good. It's good. This play needs to be rehydrated before I can use it. Oh yeah, I found this medallion thing. That's cool. It's got Mercury's shoes on there. I might use that for something. Let's try and squeeze all the air out of here. This is my little little clay area. 
This is ceramic and clay stuff. Here's my colored pencils. And I think what I should do to get myself back into the swing of doing art is color. I think color therapy is so therapeutic for me. So I'm going to leave these out because I'm going to want to color. This is my colored pencils. If you are resisting your healing and you go colored to pencils, resisting, yes, I'm going to want to use these. Without a question. And you have to understand I'm going to want to use my markers. We might work on coloring tonight, actually. That would be fun. That's only if I can get my craft supplies all cleaned up before, before I work on coloring. Parts of yourself okay. Have tried to forget about it. Let's see. Here, what all we got in here? What do we got in here? What is inside here? We have some feathers. I know they're not vegan. We have a beating board. I realized, oh. We have some seed beads. I don't know if you can really see those. But they're a bunch of really pretty seed beads. We have these little seed um, or little bead organizers here. Watching the clips actually over the weekend. I'm going to a, an event actually. So if you happen to be in Austin, Texas, I'm going to be eat those. Um, at Team Light, uh, uh, Team Light event in Bastrop, Texas. More seed beads. And I hope it helps people. I hope a bunch of you there to see it. I'll be there hanging out. A couple of buddies of mine. A nice tin. I might use this tin for something else besides beads. Let's put that out here just in case I want to use it for something else. Okay. There's back and forth about that. Um, you know, as far as whether you have to protect your eyes. I don't know. I'm not going to go on record. They will ask that for So I'm going to go through my release now because otherwise that would be I would say protect your eyes because I'm starting to go blind and I looked straight at an eclipse before. So the way eclipses work is. That's probably when I started going blind. Energy. It's almost like the sun and the moon are aware they're about to come together. And because it's dead conjunct Chiron, dead conjunct Chiron. And we have some pony beads. Uh, 19 degrees. And these are just random I just know it next to a seven. beads. There's exactly. glass beads. Now, I, I think these are ivory. I found these, I though. I didn't buy them. Um, and some like brandy beads in there. These are wooden beads. So these are bone beads. beads. But what I, feel like I did buy these. Exactly these ones I bought from a powwow. A lot of these are the ones I bought online. Those ones came from a powwow. These ones are uh, tiger coral, actually. Because what I believe is that we have all in this lifetime forget past. Okay, that's the. Uh, in what this, is this? Life, particularly since COVID, a lot of issues have come up because we're forced to sit down, separate six feet apart, spend a lot of time with ourselves, spend a lot of time with our loved ones, sort of live virtually and disconnected from outer world discussion. That stuff. A lot of us have really realized. Can go in my scrapbooking how stuff. How stuff we are. What we had ignored, where we had paid. Got little pandas. But honestly, I do think it was yeah. God's bidding for that to happen because I think Girl, good pandas. has come or will come in from people having to stop their lives and take a real look at so, their life. But I believe we have these came from a ramen packet. Workers that I know and the light keepers have really been Cute. um deep in their uh, reflection and their healing is what's been happening. And so the champions of the world, the ones who here who care about the world. We're here to help the world be a better place. Yeah, it's going to go my scrapbooking stuff. The last four years, really we'll set that people. aside. And I believe this eclipse oh, is a champion's recovery. This is where we stand back up. This is where we come back up after having been kind of knocked down. And 
And now that we have come together inside of ourselves, the fuck we then that? contemplate coming together outside of ourselves. Thus, Unite the Light. <laughs> this is why we're doing Unite the Light at this time, because we believe people are going to come together inside themselves. And once a person is not practicing, come the together inside, inside themselves. <laughs> So one of the things that happens is when we are subconscious this is like unaware pearls. internal problems, our emotional problems, our traumas, if we're unaware, we subconsciously like a Warshak test. Some crystal stuff. Like ink blot test. You like look at it like snail or whatever you can come up with this word. What ends up happening subconsciously when you're hurting on the inside, you end up Rorschachy and projecting it on other people. What is this? So because we are dis on the inside, Oh, our ego in particular, Aries, I spray painted some tape black, and um, I was thinking I could probably use this for something, but I don't know what. That's where we have been in this data. So I think the consequence of this eclipse is that people. This was, uh, I think, a mirror that I spray painted black. I don't remember. <laughs> but I think, but I think in a way, this is sort of like oh no, this was from you are hailed and you fall down. This is from uh, that's what this moment is. the spider web jewelry holder that I made. You have like a Leo sticker. I gotta find a Leo to give that to. We're divided among nations. I mean, like I said, they're bombing and down right now. Actually, my nephew and my second cousin are both Leos. I don't know if they want this or not. We've been blaming our brothers and sisters. Now that we are aligned in our hearts, we try and give it to them. Truth, now the workers who well, are give it to my nephew. Earth yeah. a better place, now we can go forward, I think, with great strength and determination. And I believe that is actually what the rest of this year is about um, until about September. In fact, I'm just putting a prediction on the table here. I believe that you're going to see a lot of corruption come out between now and September. I'm just going to go on the line. And what's corruption? Corruption, ta- people not paying taxes, businesses cheating, yep. very bodies, uh-huh. Not conspiracies. surprised. Yes, there are Stone beads. It's called a business plan, actually. In most cases, it's a business plan of certain organizations who are conspiring with this crisis. Ceramic I'm beads. I'm Texas this week. The airlines have all conspired and raised the prices crazy. I can't believe it. They totally took advantage of everyone to be there. Raise the prices. I could have flown to Switzerland. Stone beads. I spent a flight to Austin. I'm just saying. That is a business plan. All the airlines, I think, have in some ways united. They're probably united in that way. So the point is that I believe that because of this big blast of spiritual, you know, spiritual um, what's the word? disinfectant, which is the sun, moon, and Chiron conjunction. Yep, Diddy. Let me just put Diddy. Yeah, Diddy's another one. That's so crazy. You're going to see a lot of these kind of flies dropping out of the sky between now and September. And I think that this eclipse is really going to sticker magnets push what I call the frequency races. We had a friend here. Ruben Lane, these are useful, the but I don't think I'm going to use them anytime more. soon. So I'm going to put these in my stuff. Here's art supplies to go out in storage. Race. I believe it's a race to uh, to liberate the world versus a race to control the world. I think oh, cool. Place. Mark you got a group of people card sleeves. You got a group of people want to control. That's my belief. And I believe the liberators are going to, t- are going to this is trash. from this eclipse. Yeah, I found some trash. Is, yes, God intervening in free will with this place. Um, and I think that it will stay in the league in the summer of luck. So I've been advising all of my this I can give to my neighbor because uh, do as much as you possibly can take advantage of this eclipse because she this uses these newspapers for her okay um birdcage something nasty from the past you might have to vomit something about to go that far you might have to feel incredible grief and incredible sorrow I promise it's temporary it's actually healing that's happening as people as it may be it's not that old dog coming around it's you healing once and for all it's actually really easy on yourself the body can take a hit lots of water to cleanse out all that stuff oh, nutrition it's fresh Mary. Food, fruits and vegetables no dead food like meat Right now, I would say just yeah. line up on the dead food, yeah. the, uh, the alive food or the food that was just alive. Yeah. Give your body this reboot. 
Yeah. From there, to totally agree. Insight on what's going to happen. We have after this healing, we have this ramp up of planetary things that happen that basically push and launch basically the light workers and light keepers forward. And I say light workers and light keepers because you have to be light, light hearted, just like the Egyptians. When you I died, think your, your heart was weighed on a scale of justice. The light heart got to go into heaven. I kind of want to keep this merry. Heavy hearts cannot. I want to keep heaven. the Hello Kitty too. A strong symbolism for the truth. That we're going to be light Let's see. In our hearts. And with that heart I mean, I kind of want to keep all this stuff. This stuff is all cool. I'm going to put it in like a little. Let's put it in one of these guys. I can organize it another day. Okay, the feathers need to go in the feather. We have Mars and Saturn. That's pretty powerful. We have a Kazemi moment. On April 20th, we have um, Jupiter and Uranus conjoined at 21 Taurus. That's a kaboom. Basically, that really forward and fast. Then we have on May 7th, a new moon at 18 degrees. That's my birthday. We'll all be celebrating. And then on the day of Unite the Light, which is not an accident because I am an astrologer, so I planned this shift. We have a powerful conjunction of the Sun and Jupiter at 28 Taurus and Venus and Uranus at uh, 23 Taurus. So, what that basically is in simple English is. After this eclipse, the universe just pushes things to take off, like big time. And so you're going to see things really take off. Because this eclipse is about manifesting it's an manifest eclipse, it's about manifesting health, manifesting integrity, manifesting the health of our, of our industries, the health of our products, the health of our world, everything. You should know that if you have something growing in you, like or something, it could grow crazy because this is a basic fertilizer. So what's paradoxical about this is it can also grow bacteria and grow negative things to an exaggerated amount too that can take people down. So this is going to both knock people down and also launch people to a higher place. And I really believe this event, this is, I wish I had one of those like horns that, uh, one of those hot horns, like this is the start, in my opinion, of the new era. This is the beginning of the human re-evolution. When I say this is, I mean, Monday, April 8th is the beginning of the human re-evolution. What were we waiting on all this time? We were waiting on the people who were fractured and were and fractured inside themselves to become whole again so that the earth can become whole also. The last thing I'll say about this as well is this is the moment where we actually will shift from inner to outer focus. So we've been doing all inner work since 2020, since basically COVID. It's all been inner work, spiritual work, etc. Those who do the work, everything now will be focused, focused on the outer world. And for the next two years, it's all about making the world a better. This is heavy. And preventing it's all my medals. Or taken over by totalitarian small group of families or small group of people, basically. This is heavy too. So, all right, this is like stage drama. all you my know, embellishments so and crimping beats. The champions recovery. We believe that the champion inside you so will my be sanding paper. Or if you champion children, or champion healthy fruit, or champion glue. fair prices in housing markets, or champion love. Or just champion as a chess player. It doesn't okay, matter what you the bag. But we are the champions, basically, and we are being really We are the champions. The subplot of the week is a Kanzibi okay. inspiration. A Kanzibi inspiration. There's some random sun stuff in here. Can, uh, cross. Mercury's curly retrograde, the sun is direct. It's interesting because a Kanzibi is a lot like a miniature solar eclipse because Mercury comes right in front of the sun. It's like a tiny little dot, too, when you see it from telescope. It's so crazy. I don't know if I really need to keep any of this stuff. This stuff can probably be donated. But then the sun's rays and Mercury then blast to the planet at 22 degrees Aries. Now, that degree is This might fit Kali. I don't know. Does it fit me? So, anything that adds to a four is the door to other dimensions. That Kazemi is going to open up some sort of realization, some sort of epiphany. I'll do this. I don't think you would have seen until you're on the other side of the eclipse. So I don't know. Would Holly like this? Holly might like this. Aha moment. 
I don't know if it'll fit quite um, though. Um, now that you've healed yourself, He's a big guy. You were never able to see I think I underestimated how big he really is. Because I've seen pictures of him with other people now, and I'm like, oh, he's a pretty big guy. <laughs> this one I want to keep. These two can go in here. So what does it do? Maybe I should put all this stuff to be donated in this plastic bag. Now that I have, this, now that I have um, oh yeah, not just mercury, right, but in this particular case, the most popular is actually mercury in the sun, as far as it. Venus is a pretty, pretty hot kazini also. Hot kazini. sure what the fate of the world will be at the beginning of the week. But now that you've gone through this eclipse and this Kazemi, you might have a completely different opinion. In fact, we have one other major transit this week. We have Saturn on Wednesday, April 10th. Uh, and then that's oh, we have another bag here. I might have more stuff to do. I don't know. Tonight, the the ego and control is in the same here. Page. So if you look at the whole week, as far as alignment is concerned, you have the sun and the moon, uh, conjoining the new moon uh, solar eclipse. That's the heart and emotions coming together on the same side. Then you have Mars and Saturn conjoining on Wednesday. That's ego and control issues coming together on the same side. Then you have Mercury, Cassini, the sun, which is Mercury and the sun, which is the mind and the heart coming together on the same side. Do you see the pattern here? We are uniting our inner self on the inside. We are coming together and uniting our inner light, and that is going to be our step to, of course, unite the light uh, in the outer world in May. So let's take a look a little nano on this. First of all, we'll start with the energy of Aries. We've got a whole party going on in Aries. If you don't know, Mercury is retrograde, which means that we are thinking backwards. This week, the sun moves from step we are thinking backwards. step 23. <laughs> I like that. This is on step 19. So as of tomorrow, you're going to make a sort of decision about your behavior going forward. These new degrees of Aries are basically behavior. If you're programmed behavior. Sometime I need to go through all these random containers and sort out the random stuff. I'm not going to do it today, though. That's new degrees of, you know, um, 11 degrees to 19 degrees Aries. I think I'm going to put these hearts in storage, too, because I don't think I'm going to use these right now. It's when you push or when you don't push, when you yield, when you stop, when you, when you slam hard on the gas. That's what the air, mid degrees of Aries is. So what ends up happening is, is tomorrow on Saturday, we commit to a new behavior, a new action that we intend to do. I'm assuming that this action is based on healing, based on what we have come to realize about ourselves. So on Saturn Day is ruled by Saturn this week, it's ruled by Saturn 17 degrees. So tomorrow you decide, okay, this is my behavior, this is what I'm going to do. On Sunday, you begin to do that behavior. Now, what I believe you want to do is behave according to your health, according to your healing, according to uh, what you have learned. So you're, you're deliberately initiating behavior. So let's say, for instance, you've gone over the fear of water. Go I think that's good for you. Decide to go swimming on Saturday, go swimming on Sunday. What you're doing is you're putting into motion that you are now on the path of this healing. That the healing has happened, and it's, it's so happened that you're going to do something and actually create a cause that will generate an effect. And because this is Aries, you can't just sit down and meditate on it. You can't just make a vision board and stare at it all day. You've got to actually do and you got to do what it is you intend to do and what your heart intends to be. So decide tomorrow, act on Sunday, okay, Sunday, that's what it's named after, is the sun. And by the way, Sunday is Love Fest Day. And I'll show you the love I fest can't go to the gym on Sunday because the gym is closed on Sunday. on Sunday. So it's kind of like rocky music playing, this inspirational music. I could but try and do it, yoga in the morning Sunday, on Sunday, though. Inspiration. It's because they don't make if I wake up early enough. Anymore. Everything is dark and the same for the most part. I know I sound like an old man, but give me in the chat <laughs> one inspiring song. 
Betty Firework or Katy Perry like five years ago. I don't know. But the point is, is you put into action on Sunday. Baby, you're the fire. Go on, then you go. And, and makes it bigger, amplified. So whatever you have in the ocean by Monday gets multiplied by the moon. And you can ask, how the hell does that happen? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. You'll see people make big deals out of nothing. You'll see people expand stuff. You'll see sales. Oh, we gotta put this guy back in here. You go. It's like everyone will be in a good mood. Playing along. I can use these inflation things to do my arts and crafts on so that I don't make a mess. So the energy gets amplified on Monday. On Tuesday, there's going to be a flip hangover. Okay, step 20 rules a day. So you're going to feel, if you didn't already have the feeling, so what happens is people who are more malleable and want to go with the flow of the universe, you'll have a breakdown before the eclipse. If you're holding on and resisting like hell, you'll have a breakdown after the eclipse. And that is a, an eclipse hangover. So I actually feel that um, Tuesday will be a lot of emotional breakdown for a lot of people. And I also feel that those who already had the breakdown, it's going to be sort of like super little scrub jay feather in here. Super the big S. It's like you're going to start to feel this new champion coming out of you on Tuesday. On Wednesday, it's step 21. It starts to be fun. On Wednesday, you start to see the world in a whole new light. The same world in it. Now, I do have a minor theory that we might be changing timelines of this eclipse, and I don't have the time to go into timelines in this episode, but I do think it's a good, good possibility that we actually shift timelines. And so, on Wednesday, it's sort of like, oh, I don't recognize my life. My life doesn't feel the same. Everything doesn't feel the way it has felt in the past. On Wednesday, Mars and Saturn can join. On Wednesday, Pluto goes to two degrees. So I'll talk about it when I show you the charts and major stuff. And then Thursday is Kazemi, where Mercury, which is right here, will cross in front of the sun, which is right here. And then there's a Kazemi moment where um, your heart and your mind have an activity at step 22. And then on Friday, when I'm back next week and have returned on a new timeline, step 23 rules, which means you'll have a new vision for the future. So in essence, I'm putting on the table right now that your belief of the future is will be different one week from today. That's what I believe. Next week, this time, you're going to be like, I actually think the future is going to be this, not this. We're going to switch timelines. There may be, it may be the same future you once had, and there might be this extra addendum that you add to this future idea that you had never seen before after the beginning. No, Tyrant is at step 19 all week long. 19 is I now. Tyrant is a healing. So this is an application of healing. And the next code is at step 15. And step 15 is the path of least resistance. So one thing that's very important is that, um, is that you know that Yay. you have options for what path Getting more organized. Take Let's the shortcut. I'm not see what's saying in here. cutting down or skip steps okay. or do something half assed. But I am saying, if you could uh, clean the kitchen and have to clean up from under the fridge, do that. This is a time where you're not getting any extra credit from God by doing the stuff that's going for you right now. If you will just take the path of least resistance, the one that's very easy, clear and present, uh, been there, done that. Stickers. Like you know exactly to do. Make sure I want to keep all my stickers. That path I, think right I do. Now. That's the path to take. Trust me, the world will get home. Hard enough, like sometime around September, anyways. All right, so that is what's going on in Aries. Now, in the state of Pisces, we got a party going on there too. Four planets in Pisces. If you don't know, Pisces I have a whole bunch of killer stickers. I should probably let's give away two killer stickers. I have a bunch of bravery, so I'll give away two bravery. You have your subconscious is super stirring. I took so many of those stickers when I was at the concert. <laughs> They're like handing them out. Candy. Oh, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. <laughs> that needs to go somewhere special. I can't just like leave that out where it can be seen. <laughs> I know where it should go. I know where it should go. <laughs> Changed on the inside. And you now feel different. You're going to sort of wear it like a suit. So you're 
Should I hand out these? Move away from my milk. Go vegan. Honey, you aren't saving bees. Go vegan. I think I should probably hand these out. Act um, activism. Pisces means that our ego is now moving to change our daily life. So your ego is in a place this week to really look at your daily life. No, I feel like the best place to put these would be like at a club or something. Like if I were to go to a club or some place where a lot of people stop by, because then they could see the pretty artwork. I sure made a lot of examples of that case in the outside. This relationship is a reflection of me being fragile. This relationship is a is a reflection of my fear of water. This relationship is a you know, this relationship to Doritos <laughs> is my reflection of me not caring for my body and loving my body. So the ego starts to Okay, so we have a whole lot of um wrapping stuff out here so i can definitely put some of this stuff away in storage i'm gonna put the grass away maybe the grass should go in the ostara because it's kind of an easter thing put that in the star one this one i think i'll leave out the black streamers all those will go in storage i want to do something with these angel wings i'm not sure yet so I predict after the eclipse on oh, Wednesday, pump day, always a middle day, you're going to adopt a okay. new attitude on life, a new way of looking at life, a new way of, wrapping. Life, a new way of addressing life. And this will be a policy, which is Saturn, I don't want to read that which is wrong. So policy and procedure. Okay, I'm going to leave all this stuff on Wednesday. And Neptune at 28 degrees is basically manifesting manifesting our spiritual journey, our destiny. So this is sort of an antenna. That's why I see that little Neptune sign as is an antenna. It's an antenna that is ultimately tuning in to our higher self or our deep subconscious and helping us to make real uh, exactly what it is that we came here to do. So this is sort of like our spiritual guidance. Our feathers. Our to look feathers are a pain in the butt. They are not vegan. I got these before. I went vegan. Our subconscious is what stores our past life intentions or our between life intentions. So I actually believe what's happening here is we are actually activating another chapter in our spiritual. Kind of destiny. feel weird using feathers now, now but I think moon. Khalid will probably want to use feathers. We start a course with the moon in Pisces. And so that's actually right now going to the weekend. Oh, the feathers could go in so at least these colored feathers. I probably won't use these. They can go in storage. Cry, have to process some, uh, some deep feelings, have to really bring to your, uh, your feelings. They're not going to fit in the box, though. Maybe, again, this is stuff you tend to repress instead of push down inside of you. So, you know, I was surprised. I should probably wrap these in a bag and then put them in storage. I processed it, so, you know, you're going to do some processing motion this weekend. Then, of course, on Sunday, the moon goes into Aries. I predict it's a little feisty on Sunday because the moon now is moving in towards the sun for the eclipse. The energy and the intensity are going to rise in the hill. Uh, okay. So Sunday night will be really intense. I think it will be the dance party, which is good because I need to dance my astro off just to get it out of my system. And then, of course, we have the eclipse on Monday. And then we have the aftermath on Tuesday. So the moon moves in Tuesday. So the first part of Tuesday is still the uh, eclipse hangover. There's the hemp cord. I was looking all over for that. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So for step 20, 21, and 22, Same thing here. No, you're that's basically empty. manifesting the new era. Taurus is I manifest. So you're going to emotionally create the new platform. So basically, we are cleansed. Uh, with the first two moons, and then by Tuesday, oh, I got my beating wire. Start manifesting new, the new reality, the new world, the new foundation. Don't let's not forget Mars and Saturn have come together with a new attitude about life. And then on Thursday, a Kazini moment happens with the moon. And okay, so I got a lot of stickers. So I think I'm going to turn this tin into a sticker so storage tin. We, we add value. 
So basically, for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, you're making these changes very valuable in your life. You're equating them to life changes. You're equating them to things, you know, relationships. You have a bunch of bravery, the purchases. killers. You're equating them to uh, investments. So, you know, it all it all adds up and means something. We're Tuesday, back in the space pirates. And then next Friday, when I'm live here with you once again, the moon moves into Gemini. Um, I actually moves into Gemini late. I do not Thursday, know how to so pronounce his name, but it, it's this guy here. He's really, really cool. Gemini, so we really process that, that uh, Mercury Gazzini. We and drew these. Start to come to conclusion. So we drew this one too. Yeah. Those are kind of special to me because, like, I wrote them and bought a shirt and bought a bunch of merch from them. And then we have these stickers that Dan on YouTube sent me. And we have these stickers that I drew. There's another sticker. And, Pluto moved from one to two to Aquarius. and that's big, all the stickers. I guess I could start putting the sticker paper in here too. That would probably be good for it. Leave that out because I know I have more stickers Thursday, over my scrapbooking stuff. Means is that we open up on right. Thursday to start feeling different vibrations that we've never felt before. So energetically. Um, okay, Thursday, now I gotta go up there and get that stuff. Whole other reality. What's interesting is, is that it goes Let's into put this back first. So it's quite possible that we really have a huge epiphany on Thursday because once it gets two, it opens all frequencies of ascension. Pretty powerful thing. But we do also face fear. Let's go to Virgo. Black Moon oh. Virgo shows a huge shift. Now, Black Moon does our fear. It goes from 20 to 21. That means that we go from fearing together to fearing a specific future. Point one. And since we're going to fear a specific future, I'm th th thinking we're going to know what that future is. Guess when we actually have it go to step 21? On Monday. So as of Monday, you are now fearing a specific future or you are facing fears you have about a specific narrative. That tells me that, yes, on the eclipse, the narrative does officially change. And then finally, our manifesting oh, Taurus. Ow, 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 ow. Jupiter in Taurus and Uranus in Taurus. Jupiter goes from 18 to 19. Oh, 19 is hurt. the same degree as the eclipse. It goes there on Monday. So actually, I'll show you the eclipse chart here in a second. It's the sun, the moon, and Chiron at 19. And Jupiter goes to 19 oh, Taurus pitch. at the same time. So it's a mega, mega, mega manifestation eclipse. It's not just the sun, moon, and Chiron. It's also Jupiter, the multiplier of the system. Uranus also down at step 21. So that means that we have limited potential as far as how far and how wide. I think those manifest. heavy beats keep so it from falling. Simply, it's a hell of a manifestation party going on this week. I think when I come here next week, I'm going to look different, smell different, and be a lot richer for it. <laughs> Probably better too. Let's take a look at the plants real quick and let me show you what I'm talking about here. Oops, that's the wrong button. I must did in I must did end broadcast. That would have been quite a mistake moment. Keep streaming for Dr. G. His name is Dr. Christian Gonzalez. Never met a Christian I didn't like. Uh, we'll be talking tonight. So again, real quickly. Um, tomorrow, Saturday, we have step 17. You can see the sun is coming into conjunction with, with Chiron. Uh, I have this necklace that I made a wall back. I don't remember if it so, fit right or so not. Let's it's try it out. love yourself right now and love yourself some more. So we're raising the self-love here. You can see Mer the moon is cross Saturn and cross Mars. So that's a lot of spiritual processing that happens uh, between now and uh, Saturday afternoon. So we're feeling that. Remember, we make a commitment at step 17 to go forward. We have Love Fest Day. Yeah, I need to work on this one still. It's Love not Fest small Fest enough. And it, the clasp is on the wrong side. We're falling in love so I need to flip it. About ourselves. So we basically really start to believe in ourselves. And make it smaller. 20 p.m. Eastern time, you're going to be feeling like a million bucks. Is no. Then, of course, we have the new moon solar eclipse on April 8th. Let's just take a look at this real quickly up close. Sun, Moon, and Chiron at 19 degrees. That is it. 1924. I had it wrong. 24, not 34. 
Pretty amazing. That's the eclipse, 1924. Three energies, right? Here's the Earth getting blasted. Mercury um, retrograde is coming forward and their minds are coming up and accepted. Pretty interesting. I'm put this in here because it needs to be fixed. That means we're turning this into a love story and can draw and enjoy the Paris. That means we're turning into a fierce love story. A fierce love story about the future. That's very interesting, I find. Jupiter at 19. Oh, okay, so that, that's very interesting, I find. By the way, Jupiter was 18 just the day prior. So the fact that it goes to 19, the seven sex houses party. I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in here. Maybe I'll make something with them soon. Or I'll move them over to my scrapbooking stuff. I was thinking I want to work on this, but I really, I really want to, I have two clocks that I want to goth goth up and um i think i want to wait until Khalid gets here and we can work on the clocks together because he'll probably want to he'll probably want to make sure that they are to his standards that's the epiphany that will happen around 7 p.m. So Thursday it's totally up to him, but I want a house full of clocks and mirrors. And it sounded like he kind of agreed with me that that sounds cool. Clocks and mirrors all over the place. Goth clocks, goth mirrors. Okay, I never really use these markers, so I'm going to put them away in storage. On this Friday. So pretty interesting. I don't really use and pastels all that much either, so I'm gonna put exactly those away in storage. Uh, the moon's at 13 degrees also, so a lot of a lot of shifting. So I argue that by next week this time, we feel ourselves like we're on another planet, we're not on another timeline, we're off to the races, so to speak. I think this so necklace was pretty much done. I think this necklace can go on my yeah, this necklace is done. I have my this necklace can go on my jury. Let's have our tea time. All right, friends, welcome to Tea Time. Always a pleasure to be of soul service here. If you're not familiar, this okay. is the part of the show where I'll talk about your zodiac astrology sign and what you can expect for the upcoming week. And it's I'm tea time. Dr. Is okay, so I'm going to need both of these baskets if I'm going to be doing a relatively coloring. And make sure that we can have time with our uh, beloved guest. So let's get this week, what I'm going to talk about out of here. is the new moon solar eclipse. Like, where is the eclipse going to call for you to manifest a change in behavior that is a result of, um, of you now having brought together your inner self to a new intention? All right. And then this is all my adhesive stuff. I have a whole bunch of labels. I don't know. I don't really use these labels all too much. Let's put some of this stuff away in storage. I have a whole bunch of these labels. I think I'll keep one of these labels out. These all can go in storage. We'll probably use labels more when Kali gets here, too. And then these guys come in handy sometimes. These size tags come in handy when I'm sewing, but I'm not sewing lately, so I'm going to put these in the storage. All right, I have two glues here. I don't think I need both glues out. So I'm going to put one glue in storage. There's another sticker. It's a Joey Edwards sticker. If you don't watch Joey Edwards on Twitch, go ahead and watch Joey Edwards on Twitch because he's awesome. So that's how you respond. I would imagine for a lot of areas, I see you walking by the open window, you walking by the, uh, 
uh, the opportunity to mess up again and instead choosing to opt out of certain behaviors and probably choosing to begin these labels can probably stay in so here because they are identity, useful defensiveness, although sometimes messy because they get stuck to stuff this is what is now with galactic level the earth of libra says that you're going to be now this week starting to manifest new partnerships so expect new marriage and partnerships that could be business partnerships Strategic alliances, um, best friends forever who go fishing. It's new alliance, alliances that end up happening um, that are now going to manifest as a result of this new behavior. So now that you're all sparkly new and, and there, green, all the glue and adhesive in there. Oh, and we want one of the package of labels in there too. People who want to try to do are now attracted to you. And this will be phasing in, by the way. She said this changes. These changes will take until probably Libra, which is of course September for them to come into full effect. Mars conjoining Saturn means that so I use uh, that Aries to have a separate all the glue sticks. That might be good. A very strong faith uh, in life and in something. So if you've been thinking about maybe with your faith, you know, glue sticks. We have three glue sticks. You stop fighting yourself. I don't think we need three glue sticks. Or you stop uh, worrying about something you were worrying. I do think puddles will dry up as far as worries and anxieties are concerned. I think I'm going to give away this glue stick. And I'll keep the two Elmire's glue sticks. About what you have faith in. And that could be a faith in a person, a faith in projects, faith in God, faith in, faith in the universe. And the Mercury Cassini moment on Thursday is actually going to be an inspiration about your character. Transparent You're tape. probably going to download the new title for yourself. I am this, the grand I am. I am this. I am this now. I am that now. And so this will be the grand I am of the character that you have become. That's the blue stick. You intend to become. This character might be tied to an action. In other words, it might be tied to, I'm going to be a plumber. I'm going to be I single. I'm going to be like married. A I'm going to be a mother. It could be something like that. Um, but ultimately, it is a download. And I think this is going to be the character that you play probably for the next three to five years from what I can gather. FYI. Okay. Well, that's well, Taurus. good to know. I love the way I say Taurus, don't you? Taurus, you are having a you are having a grand I am statement about your spirituality. I think Tauruses are going to come to realize that they are destined for something. Destined for something great. That's definitely that wit, well more organized. I like that. The one that's meant to do this. I know this is what I was meant to be and what I was meant to do. So there's a very strong spiritual knowing. Uh, what must happen in your life and similar to Aries you once doubted but now you are so sure so this grand I am statement is I am this destiny basically I am this potential for destiny with the earth and Libra it means that there's going to be a change of lifestyle you're going to manifest a different lifestyle and you're going to want to become a different person in the moment and so as a result of this fate the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to change your life and boy, things are changing. I can say that's happening for me already. Wow, that's and so much more organized. Yay. Responsibility for in society. Look at how better that is. Adopt something in society. Adopt a campaign. Mm -hmm. Adopt, you know, be part of a, of a, be a part of a charity, be a part of a cause, be a part of a movement, start a movement. I mean, of course, okay, the sticker, Joy Edwards sticker can go in here. Ego is taking responsibility for your role kind of, kind of gathering around a certain idea, a certain vision for how you see the world. So I really think this picture of Taurus is like on a mountain, kind of like seeing the future of the world. Okay. And the Kazini moment on Thursday for you is actually uh, your relationship to God and the universe. You're going to realize something about Get your faith, something here. about something you promised God, something about what God promised you. You have this Kazini <laughs> realization of uh, you are o not ordinary, you are special. Whew. Are other people special? Yes. But what makes a person special is that they realize they're special, and God's children, everyone is special when they realize it. So I think Tauruses are going to really realize that they are special. Ow! Oh. Okay. All righty, drinking my water. Gemini! Got some stuff in here. As to who you are in the world and the role you intend to box, play. I can use that box so for this is a little bit too. Title. This is understanding that you 
uh, are important uh, part of a network, understanding that you are here to create the network, have a reputation, be known for something, or play a role in the world. Okay. Keep in mind the world can be your world. Let's do that. It's your work, the world can be, it's your world. Whatever your world is, you have this grand I am statement of who I am in the world. Okay, that's, that's what it's going to be. There. Now, uh, the Earth of Weaver says you're going to, at the same time, get right to business, manifesting a personal dream. So you're going to really understand that you have a dream that you want to enter reality. And so you're going to manifest this dream uh, and move forward and start working to make this dream come true. So I think Gemini's are really going to be on a happy path. I'm excited. Mars can join us. Okay. I have a whole bunch of yarn. I don't need this yarn because I want, I'm want. i determined to finish that project I'm working on. Where's the lid to this? I don't know, but I want some. It's like a lotion. How did I lose the lid to it? Hopefully I can find it. Oh, that smells good. Where the, the hell did the lid go to that? Okay. But I'm going to put the yarn in here because I don't need to use any more yarn until I finish that project I started. Um, these are my paint palettes. Cancer. There's another paint palette. Cancers, your brand I am is a career leadership moment. Cancers There's a sonnet cherry limeade. But they are to be something in their career. That can go in the Probably something that hard is always maybe didn't admit it. But now they realize that they have a career legacy achievement that they are here to create. So Where's their hearts the go, this? I am ready to be this thing in my career. So I think cancers are gonna move. This is a lot of random stuff in here. And migrate to where they belong in their career. This is like my random, my random junk bed. Sounds like what I'm doing. Okay, this is a project I was working on. This paint's cool. What is this? Really thrive and okay. in that career. Um, now, the Mars Saturn conjunction is their ego is going to take responsibility for that was stuff I was working on. So they're you're rallying behind a school of thought, you're rallying behind a travel plan, or something you want There's to There's a Sagittarius more. ring, basically, mm. a life purpose. That your ego and your commitment side is coming together on. It's an idea of a certain purpose okay. that you feel a calling to. None of this stuff the belongs in my fabric scraps. Is that you realize something of your legacy that you have a There's legacy some earrings. Realize that you have, uh, okay. you have the potential for a certain legacy in the world, a potential to leave a certain mark in the world, to make a dent, as my friend Chris Rex says, and it's this fabric scraps, depending on your age. You realizing where you want to retire or how you want have to a retire. bike light. All right. Is this the work? Is game about this this time, Michelle? Yeah, it is. All righty. I mean, they all use that for something. Loyalty and the leaders of love. Leos are creating yeah. grand I am statement about what they believe in life. So they are Perhaps. rallying behind a belief. They're building a character around a belief structure. Um, that belief may be a school of thought. It may be a book that you're writing. It may be um, miscellaneous pepper seeds. It may be an academy that you're creating or some tweezers. Um, some sort of a curriculum you're creating. Okay. You're becoming this person that's tied to this this belief, this purpose. Septum ring. It's something that you find is is meaningful and important that you want to share with your fellow earth players. So your brand I nope, am is based not right on now. certain belief in life. Now, when this happens, you're going to then want to manifest with the Earth in Libra a whole bunch of literature. Manifest a book. Manifest uh, communication. Well, unfortunately, I can't find the lid to this one, so I think I'm going to pass that along. This particular school of thought. So this one is fine. Their heart is really yeah, over by my in the clouds about creating some sort of a belief and manifesting the intellectual, um, uh, I was just saying propaganda. <laughs> That's not a fair word. Intellectual um, intelligence, intellectual property. That's the word I was looking for. 
intellectual property that will support that new belief and that new uh, calling that they feel. Okay, all this now, stuff needs to go on my fabric brain, scraps. Their ego and their control issues what it's doing are here, I don't know. Their ego is taking responsibility for certain boundaries that they must draw with others or with themselves in order to make this happen. So the you're going to have to cut things out. We're going to have to open up to things. We have a certain idea, a certain philosophy, or a certain attitude about what things do and what don't. So I do think the parents in particular is leaving behind certain relationships that are a drag on them and opening up to relationships that they need to consider in their life. It's the just the a moment on Thursday for Leo's is this new curse. Go recycle um, this box. I get this kind of superhero on a, on a hill with a kid flying kind of image in my third eye when I look at Leo's. They just feel revitalized as to what their purpose and calling is in life. So this is going to be exciting because Leo's are, of course, huge instigators of passion and they get people excited about ideas. All right, moving on. Virgo, the virtuosos. Virgos, you are a zooming moment when it comes to my hair is getting hot. Virgos are gonna change everything. Everything must go. It's a giant garage sale. They're it's changing their lives, they're getting rid of the dead weight, they're opening up to what they've always wanted, they're moving things around. And that may sound like a normal Virgo because they do like to do deep cleaning, but this is probably the deepest cleaning their ever their life has ever had. They're getting super deep and changing all their boundaries with others according to who they are becoming and who they are. So Virgos might have been sort of holding back and not speaking up for themselves, or maybe you um, were trying to push someone and you were crossing a boundary and you realize, if I'm going to have to push this hard, I'm going to have to work. So these palettes are all so not being used right now. This one was used. In the big picture, it's you becoming who you are. I should only use one palette at a time, though. The other palette shouldn't. Okay. Now, the other palette should be. Libra means that Virgos are going to actually start getting really productive. Um, the consequences of this is that you're going to. The other palette should be. You're going to be creating uh, money for other people to use. Residual income, um, all sorts of ways of making things. Okay, so once you rearrange everything in your life, you're going to be able to make things happen, to make money, to create abundance. So you sort of get so. to work, typical Virgo, making money and abundance. The conjunction of Mars and Saturn says your ego is taking responsibility now for relationships. Virgos are about to give notice to anyone that's out of line, literally. So you're now going to get strong about your relationships. This is your relationship to food, relationship to relationship to Okay. And so it's time to take responsibility. Only that me one palette at a time. And the Mercury Cazini on Thursday is you're going to have a vision of how Unless somebody your life else wants to evolve. To evolve. That your life is going to transform in front of your very eyes. Okay. And I think we're going to get a quick look at exactly what that change happens to be. Drink after every side. Mm. Libras! Libras are having a Kazini moment about relationships. You are realizing hey. now that relationships are, are important, as you always have been, but you're having a transformation of who you now are in relationships. You have a new that identity. Maybe you used to be the fixer. Maybe you used to be the healer. Maybe you used to be the codependent one. You are something else. The grand I am is I am something else now in the relationship. That would be a personal marital relationship, to the relationship to candy, to be a relationship to a professional person, to a relationship to your children. But it's a new I am statement in relationships. Now, but given that this is a new relationship, this is a big change for relationships. Kind of see it over here now. So I'm going to put this good gold foil back in storage because I don't think I'm going to use it anytime soon. I don't really know how to use it. Manifesting a new character, a new personality, new behaviors, being known for doing different things, letting old behaviors go away, maybe retiring from certain jobs, picking up new jobs, picking up new titles and new activities. Mars conjoining Saturn says that you're going to get your ego and responsibility or your ego is going to become very responsible about a daily life change. I do use this paper quite a bit. Routines, I'll a shift in right work, here. a shift in what you do for work, a shift in what who you work with, the equipment you use for work. Okay. So a daily life practical grounded change of living in a this higher dimension of daily life than you have before and really taking responsibility for making that happen. Because any moment is actually in partnerships. You're going to realize that you're probably going to partner or decouple 
from a business alliance, a right. romantic I think interest, I've organized a strategic everything. alliance, let's say among two clans. Basically, you're going to have to be known with that there's a transformation of partnerships or your partnership is about to go to a much higher Hot. level together, which is also <laughs> count in that Kazini. All right. Scorpios! Scorpios, you have now a I gotta figure out how to get everything back on the shelves. That in life, you're no longer the hero, or no longer the fixer, or no longer the one who can say what the boundaries are. Instead, you are dot, dot, dot. So Scorpios are commanding a new vision of who they are in daily life, who they are in their, um, in their lifestyle. It could be a job change, by the way, a location change. It could be just a way of life change. Ooh. It could be 6 a.m. and do Tai Chi now. It could be all sorts of things. But it's a, it's a lifestyle change that's going to happen. And it's a defining lifestyle. It makes you someone else than you were before. This means that with the earth in Libra, you're now going to manifest this great faith in God, a new relationship to God, a new way of feeling uh, of how you're connecting to God. You could say you're going to manifest a new faith, that you're going to realize, I wasn't destined for this. I'm destined for that. So I think it's a new destiny that unfolds for you, and you manifest this new destiny. Um, Mars and Saturn says the ego is going to take responsibility for love, creativity, and romance. So you might rally behind something you're creating, such as a piece of work or music or art or a book or maybe uh, around children, the creation there is. Or maybe you're taking responsibility for a particular romance and taking a new approach to a romance or something your heart desires. The Kazemi moment is going to be a realization of what your lifestyle is going to become. Like, wow, I'm going to be the My hair is so hot right this, now. Or I'm going to be the number one seller of that. Or I'm going to be the first one to market for that. So your Kazemi is this lifestyle realization as a result so of making stuff in your daily routines. Sagittarius! Sagittarius are having a this great plan about love, romance, and creativity. I think Sagittarius might be falling in love, or they might be deciding that they are ready for love, or they might be deciding that their current love stinks. This could also be a grand I am as far as parenting, as far as being a mother or a father, because children are in the fifth house. This could also be that you decide that you are an artist, or that you are something creative, and you're not a lawyer, or you're not like what your parents told you to go to college for. Yeah. So it's a grand I am of creativity, and one of the reasons why I've called this the unicorn, that you will be the unicorn in this life. Now, with the Earth in uh, Libra, it means you're going to manifest new social ambition. You're going to realize that you are now destined to be something else in society if you're now this artist or this creative person or this person in love or whatever. So you're manifesting new social ambition, new things you want to be in the world or how you want the world to see you as a result. Mars conjoining Saturn says the ego is going to take responsibility for feeling so hot. This is a new attitude about how you respond to other people's feelings, particularly how you respond to your family's feelings or people that you live with. So there's a new ego control agenda for how to manage feelings and feelings for others, your feelings for him, your feelings for her, your feelings for it. You're taking responsibility for those feelings now. And the Kazini moment is you're going to realize that you probably didn't realize before. You might come out of the closet and realize, yeah, you do want to be a singer, or you do want to be an influencer, or you do want to, you know, um, follow your dreams, even though it's kind of quirky or, or strange. So I think that is a really sort of like a very rainbow moment here where they're going to see something magical coming up. <sighs> Oh my gosh. You're so hot. Capricorns have a grand Cassini moment for their feelings for others. I think I need to open the windows. That, um, that they need to manifest well, feelings. Cleaned a lot. Feel good. Neutralize feelings. You might realize that you're going to heal from a situation. I put you up you here. You need to overcome a childhood. Let's see. I clean and organize a lot. I'm going to put some more stuff up here. You may realize your feelings for others are much more powerful. Let me open the windows real fast. So it's a very emotional, grounded, hot. home family foundation. You might be manifesting a home. You might be manifesting a family. That will be the most literal interpretation of the event. But overall, it's a new emotional grounded security. The Earth in Libra says that you're going to now start to manifest a new direction as far as your career and legacy. So because you feel grounded, you might feel more courageous to go for something a bit more ambitious 
or perhaps more long lasting in your career. So you're going to see some success in your career as a result of grounding yourself. And you might find those your feelings that were keeping you from being able to go for your career. Now, Mars and Saturn says that your ego is going to take responsibility Ooh. for ideas and communication, that you might find the way to say it, the way to communicate it, the way to analyze it. You might find the algorithm. You might draw up the AI intelligence. So you're going to have an intelligent realization and conclusion and how you should proceed with a certain line of thought, communication, or perhaps an intellectual property. And the Kazimi moment is going to be this moment on Thursday where you emotionally really feel called to something like, wow, I'm really close to that person or, oh, wow, my heart really cares about living in Italy or, wow, it really is important for me to have this house. So there's some realization about life and family and emotional nurturing that becomes incredibly Ooh. obvious to you on Thursday. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Aquarius. Aquariuses are having a Kazini moment about ideas or communication. Aquariuses might download a brilliant idea. They might realize they're meant to pursue a brilliant idea. They may realize it's time to write their book. They may realize it's time to speak up. They may realize that they're the messenger that the earth is waiting for. So this is a big intellectual grand I am that they realize okay. they have the information. They have the way to got to do all the cleanup. They have the intellectual property. With the earth in Libra, you then realize, ah, if this is my idea, then I have to make this is my life's purpose. So it's a very intellectual, grand, amazing idea that leads to a purpose, to leads to an updated purpose, that leads to a philosophy or a religion in life that you feel is your spiritual calling. Mars and Saturn will conjoin to where your ego will take responsibility now for money and productivity. You're probably going to now invest in something, a major purchase, a refinance, um, a new line of revenue, a new product or service that will come out. And with the Kazemi, uh, at the end of the week, you're going to have this brilliant idea come down. Maybe you already had the brilliant idea with Ooh. the Eclipse, and then on Thursday, you're going to know how to go about oh it. My gosh. Or maybe you download it's the so idea hot. with the Eclipse, but by Thursday, you find the brilliant title for that book or title for that song or title for that record. So it's an intellectually captivating week for the Aquariuses where they're going to walk away more brilliant then they started. And then the Pisces. Let's get up here. Pisces, you are having a grand I am around money, productivity, or business. Passionate. You're going to realize it is time to make money. It is time to invest. It is time to cash in on those stocks. It's time to go Bitcoin. Whatever. I'm not telling you any way to go. I'm just saying it's time. You're going to realize that Woo. you're not poor, that you are capable, that you don't have to work for the man to be able to get what you want. So you're gonna really break a lot of spells that you have been under around money and really own your value and really own what you're capable of manifesting. Sounds I would like say that this is the way. end of money problems for Pisces officially. Okay, this is the end of that karma. The Earth in Libra says, you're gonna realize that your whole life is gonna evolve now that you've moved away from this money situation. And you have all sorts of opportunities, maybe moving, maybe getting a new car, maybe hiring someone. All sorts of realizations of how life can change now that you have this grand I am of what you are worth. Mars and Saturn come together in your sign. So you're going to have a real wake-up call about behavior. Maybe you've been too defensive about money. Maybe you've been too defensive at work. Maybe you've been overly aggressive. Maybe you've been underly aggressive. So you're going to realize oh, I feel like I'm going to pass out. So fucking hot. You do need to change. And your grand I am statement, the Kazemi moment on Thursday, is you're going to realize probably an idea to get rich an idea to have abundance, an idea to get to pay for a major purchase. So probably some brilliant flash of inspiration in how to make the money that you deserve. All right. That is our Zodiac for the week, folks. We're going to go to a quick break right now. When I come back, it is Dr. G talking about health and also how to get over disease. Keep streaming. It'll be about three and a half minutes. We'll be right back. Zodiac Weathers from Saturday, April 6th to Friday, April 12th, 2024. Looking ahead at the weekend forecast, it's really preparation for the solar eclipse and committing to where you want to heal. Let's drill down. On Saturday, it's sunny and committed. Step 17 means that Saturn rules the day. This will be a bit of a serious day, but also an empowering day. Moon is in Pisces, so you may be feeling some old karma, particularly with other people. 
but you are committing now to what you seek to heal and being called to embrace self-love with Venus sextiling Pluto. On Sunday, it's sunny and brazen. Step 18 means Mars rules the day, making this a grandmaster day. This is a day where actions will speak louder than words. Be careful of reactions as well. It's time to take action and move ahead for your healing. You're opening up to some new convictions. And it's Love Fest Day. Tell everyone you love that you love them. The moon will shift Woo. from Pisces and Aries on countdown for the eclipse. Looking ahead to the week forecast for all five days and your mood casts. It looks like over the course of the week, you're going to have a major solar eclipse on Monday. And the rest of the week is pretty much recovery. On Monday, it's sunny and vigilant. Step 19 means Earth rules the day for this new moon solar eclipse called the Champions Return. Yeah. This total yeah. solar yeah. eclipse will cast a shadow across the United States. The theme of the eclipse is I was made for this and the sun will oh. directly conjoin Chiron and the moon for this collapse. Another people that said that they Now it's gonna bother me because that's a song I used to listen to like all the time. The Manic Street Preachers? Maybe. Well, I need to listen to this song real fast. Let me finish cleaning up here. Now I'm gonna listen to that song and then we'll get started on some artsy craftsy. We'll do some coloring ASMR. Yay. Okay, Whew. I'm gonna have to run some stuff out to my storage. Uh, tomorrow, maybe. Maybe tomorrow, it might be later. Yeah, I need a plastic bag this can go into. I'll probably put this stuff in storage tomorrow. Uh, I'm too bad to pass it back to me. Oh, man. So hot. I don't know why I got so hot all of a sudden, but it's hot. Oh, that's perfect. And put the bird feathers in a bird food bag. That worked out perfectly. Okay. That needs to go out to storage. This needs to go out to storage. It needs a label on it first. This stuff needs to go in my bedroom. Oops. Very important to clean up after your mess so you don't make more mess. Oh my word. When you stop cleaning up after your messes, that's when the messes start up again. Okay. Whew.
Yeah, it's definitely hot in here. The coconut oil is all liquid. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go now, listen to that song, see if it's the song I think it is. And then I'll be back on with um, some artsy craftsy, some ASMR uh, picture coloring. So see you later. Bye.